Greetings, gnomes and nomads, and welcome back to Castle Goat. It is the first day of winter, year 10. We haven't had any uh, information on whether there have been any nomads yet. I am keeping my fingers crossed. And as a uh, bit of warning, there is some epic lightning and thunder going on here at the moment. So there may be a loud crack of thunder at any moment. And uh, I'm not going to have any warning to mute the mic, though. I, I imagine it'll come through fairly muted on the mic. Though uh, Hopefully it will still pick it up and you can share in the awesomeness going on outside. It may even start raining hard enough that you can hear it on the windows. As you can see, we are making progress with the butcher's area. And uh, a lot of our workshops are starting to uh, get back stuffed and uh, too much work going on. So there's the, we're waiting on hauling to happen. And honestly, that's kind of good. It's meaning a lot of stuff is getting done. Mostly out here. I haven't had enough... Uh, ooh, a merchant for heart. Damn it, I thought we had... <laughs> you git. You got my hopes up then. I thought we had no man's. But uh, I wasn't able to finish planting all of the birch saplings that I wanted, and I haven't even gone around to planting the saplings for our uh, pine trees. But that'll be something that I can I can work on in the spring at this point. Zero nomads! <laughs> Damn it. I guess that doesn't surprise me too much. Even though we have added a lot of value to our Great Hall, I, I know that at this point... To get more nomads, we are going to really have to impress them. But hopefully we can still get all of this carted in soon. I really do love this tile set. I honestly couldn't imagine playing the game now without this tile set. Just the little touches that they add. Well, uh, you know, aside from the fact that winter actually looks like winter, uh, you know, they're wearing little furry coats, probably woolen coats, um, considering that uh, all of the alpacas. But... Uh, I really, really love the, the extra little bit of details. I hope so much that uh, Robobob is able to commission an artist to actually add this kind of, uh, these different sort of seasonal tile sets to the game himself. Uh, ideally, even the uh, author of this mod. I mean, that would be wonderful if they could uh, work something out between them. But, uh, you know, obviously it, it doesn't often work out that way, usually. It would probably be the uh, artist who already worked on this. But though, honestly, if, if it counts for anything, the uh, author of this mod has my vote, at the very least. But, uh, yes, we need to start work on this area over here. And perhaps winter will be the perfect time for that. At the moment, I'm enjoying the fact that my no with the, my gnomes are getting a lot of the hauling work done, so I'm not going to start on any big projects just yet. I want to let them uh, clean up the fort a bit now that they don't have to worry about tending the fields. Or, well, I mean, the fields are pretty pregnant with produce at the moment. There's just so much that we haven't been able to haul. Ooh. Okay. Fair enough, that shouldn't be uh, a problem at all for us to deal with. Poisonous Ancients, Rumored Strikers, Might Bringers, please deal with these little annoyances for us. Quick, get inside. Oh no! Who is it? Sanans! Sanans is being hunted down! Someone get out there and help Sanans right now! Sanans, what are you wearing? Oh, you've got some ogre stuff as well. Uh, okay, that's not so great. Quick, we need help, please. That's it, that's right. Who's that? Elzen Dwarf! Well done, Elzendorf. You're, you're wielding an awkward log and your bronze shield. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's a legendary bronze shield. It'll, it'll help you stay alive. Right, okay. The rest of the military here now, their mans are going to go down remarkably fast. I've really not got that much worry. If Sarans had been wearing all two-headed ogre leather, I wouldn't have even worried at all. And it's extremely unlikely that the uh, mans would have been able to overwhelm the leather that... Uh, he was wearing not that many mans anyway. Um, if it was one of the commanders, though, well, if it had been one of the commanders, I still wouldn't have worried because they would have had guns. But uh, and they would probably killed the mans long before they were lucky enough to get a headshot. But still, there would have been that possibility. And increasingly, I'm starting to think that maybe I should uh, forego the commander's damage buff in order to give them proper defenses. It's something I've been thinking about a lot. Um, certainly, Adjsto is going to move to it. Um, actually, just having a, a helmet on. Uh, because once the full squad is set up to only have shields, then there's really no reason for me to be giving them 
defensive bon uh, sorry offensive bonuses they're going to be a purely defensive squad uh, I know that means that we're going to be uh, giving up the enormous amount of skill that we've got in the axes that Elzen Dwarf and Troll of Reason can wield but uh, I just think it'd be better to have a full squad of tower shield wielders and one captain who's got uh, the dual pistols I mean They'll still have a remarkable amount of, of offensive potential simply because those tower shields are going to hit like trucks, especially once they become legendary. Now, we want to tile all of this area in, let's see, yes, we want to replace floor. There we go. And we want planks. And we want it to be birch. We're not going to have enough. That is a shame. Oh well. We'll just have to do it anyway. Now, what do we need for the workshop there? We would like butcher's workshops. We need a chair. That looks like granite. And a knife. Uh, well, they have had sands of knives, but it looks like it would have been the basalt. I thought those might have been marble knives, but no, it's basalt. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. That looks like an applewood hilt. Let's go ahead and make a couple. I'll make one just to make sure that I've made the right thing. So we want a knife blade made of basalt. We want the knife to have an applewood hilt. Oh, really? This is one of the nasty things here. I don't know which hilt is what. It's just giving me odd um, information there. I, I really don't know. Um, that is going to be a bit of a problem. Let me check my stocks quickly. Items, goods, wood, and then we want healths. Uh, okay, maybe it's not in there. Uh, perhaps, actually it'll be in weapon components. Okay, if we go to melee weapon parts, healths. Okay, we've got four healths. Pine, birch, uh, we've got all of them. Well, that doesn't help at all. Pine, well, okay. The order was pine, birch, then Applewood. We'll we'll hope that that's the case here. So Pine, Birch, Applewood. <laughs> Silly. Uh, we'll try. Uh, and hopefully that'll work out. We, I'm not sure though. I I I'm not going to hold my breath, honestly. Right. We want some uh, granite chair. We know it's just going to be basically a granite chair there. I think was it one or three tables? Might have been three. Let's go ahead and make three. Also, it would help if I knew exactly how many I was making. Uh, it's four, so we'll have four granite chairs and three granite cha tables. But let me just double check that it is one table each. Okay. Just as well then. So we want one more table. Again, granite. And three more chairs. There we go. Now, the main reason I'm doing this is that as one workshop gets full up, they can go to another, and it's not the best solution. It would be better if they could simply haul the stuff out of the workshops fast enough to keep it from getting like this. But when we've got hundreds upon hundreds of corpses to butcher, realistically, it's just not going to happen. Right, let's uh, get that from down there and then build up that wall as well, because I had completely missed that I hadn't done that. That could have been a tragedy in the making. Has that been removed? Yes, okay. Let's get that sealed up. There we go. I do like the fact that uh, we've got all of this planted in. In fact, I'm starting to uh, play around with the idea of uh, actually widening this area and basically having a tree corridor going down. Um, eventually I'm going to do something a bit ornate with this entranceway. I'm not satisfied with that at all. But that's going to be something we're going to have to work on a bit later. Now, we ha apparently have Desk Camp, the legendary loaf of wheat bread. Well done, Sockman. Now then, I'm going to let some more time pass. We have, uh, I don't think we're going to see another goblin attack for a little while, though on that note. Oh, should I? I'm really tempted to. Look, let's just let's just have a look at what kind of insult we can tell. <laughs> of skulls alone, it's already three thousand, and now the two-headed ogre skulls, already five thousand. 
Oh, this is good. We are gonna kill ourselves, aren't we? Yep. Uh, ogre leather, okay. Fine ogre leather, yes, we'll get rid of that. I'm not gonna sell the two-headed ogre stuff yet. Let's get rid of you. Oh, this is this is actually glorious. 403 two-headed ogre hat. I'm not getting rid of that. Let for posterity. Let's just see what we could get it up to if I sold it all, if I sent it all, like just the meats alone. Oh my god, I think we die. Let's take this back for a second. Just let that sink in. Eighteen thousand. I'm fairly certain the last one was six thousand. Let's not be silly. As much as I, I fully intend, I'm going to put this down there now. I'm every time I send a tribute, it's going to be bigger than the last one. I fully intend to just continue escalating. At this point, that's the only way that I'm going to make this really interesting for for me and for you. At that, uh, for um, speaking of, of making things interesting, I can't imagine just watching me build things up indefinitely in, in a more or less impregnable fort is going to be fun it certainly isn't a play so this is how i'm going to continue to make it more and more interesting but uh, i'm only probably going to increase it by two or three thousand each time let's let's take oh well let's make this a, a nice round number first just because i like round numbers that one's already a round number uh let's yeah let's harvest that's not bad but, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, where's the skulls? Oh no, the skulls are there, right. Well, we'll upgrade this to 150. We're going to send a 9,375 insult amount. Uh, again, I can't perfectly remember what I sent last time. I think it was 6,000. So this may be the, the, the same amount or, or too close to the same amount as last time. But uh, we're going to give it a try. And we're going to send one of our boosmiths. Try Chrono. You have drawn the short straw. Enjoy. Please bring back many, many foods and, and bits for us to make into many, many more insults. Right, down here I have finished tiling this area, though I'm obviously going to do something more than just leave it like this, because it's a lot, that's a little bit wanting in my opinion. But uh, we're setting up some tables and chairs, you know, just, just for the uh, patrol route to just have a bit of a relax, you know, because they, they can't just be out there killing things all the time. That just wouldn't do. And you know what, I think? Uh, obviously, I've left this area open because eventually that's going to be a, a route for the, the victorious gladiators to leave. I am going to deconstruct these behind the torches. And that will uh, serve... Uh, a, a dual purpose that way it'll, it'll illuminate these areas in the passageway and then I'll build a fence linking these uh, areas if only I could build bone fences alas I cannot oh no we missed a worn iron shield oh well I'll be able to clean that up just as soon as these guys have uh, pulled up on this wall that works out well in fact do that yes clean it all please oh no did I miss Oh, it looks like I actually missed building the bloody bones on the floor. That cannot be allowed to stand. My God, did I do that on all of them? Uh, uh, I really want to say it doesn't matter, but it does. Okay, I'm not going to inflict that on you. I'm going to pause the recording. And I'm going to go around, I'm going to tear all these walls down, and then I'm going to rebuild them with bone floors. Damn it. Right, I shall see you in a few moments. And welcome back. As you can see, I've been quite busy. I've replaced all of the bone underneath the bone walls. The, the outer ring, basically, had uh, somehow slipped past my attention. I have changed my uh, thoughts on quite a lot of stuff, as you can see. First and foremost, I've moved the torches to uh, be on the walls that... Ah, oh, damn it, I missed that one. Okay, let's uh, deconstruct one of these then. But uh, in a nutshell, I've moved the walls, uh, the torches, sorry, onto the walls via wall torches. And once I've placed this one, then we will have them all done. And I've uh, added more positions that we're going to be able to shoot through because it, it made more sense to just be able to, to attack 
uh, from more um, locations along the walls and I've redecorated a little bit now my thought process is and this this is rather cruel to the goblins I know I I blame a lack of tea. My 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 evil side, Dark Avak, is uh, is beginning to rouse in the uh, depths of my psyche. I will do my best to uh, keep it contained. But uh, what we have here are taunts. Well, not so much taunts, but just mind games. On these walls, uh, what we've got is uh, there'll be doors there. From any position that the goblins might be at, they won't be able to tell that there's just normal walls back here. For all they can see, there's just this endless bloody corridor with terrible things written on them. Some of them are like the correct way to chop up a goblin and make the perfect goblin sandwich. Other ones are, are all of the other goblin kingdoms that we've crushed. Obviously, we haven't. Others are yet taunting that they're never going to see their friends or, or when they do, they'll actually be in in pieces that will lure their friends here and that their friends are going to die in the same way it's all going to be very very gloomy the the, the the object here the objective is to completely disharden the goblins and uh yes crush their souls uh, not that it's particularly nice to do but there well they attacked us if they're going to be throwing themselves at us in, in such enormous numbers and this way if we do release any of them, then they're going to return with these terrible stories of, of, of just madness and lunacy. No goblin will want to come back to, to Castle Goat. They, they, we're going to have this terrible, terrible, wicked reputation as being just homicidal maniacs. Just this, this kingdom full of bloodthirsty creatures. And when in reality, we're actually quite dapper. Or at least we are when we have our tea. When we don't have our tea, we'll actually live up to what these walls will say. Let us hope such a time never occurs. Obviously, if someone tricks us into drinking coffee, it's going to be even worse. They're just, they're, there aren't words in gnomish or goblin languages to describe the depths of depravity to which we will descend. So uh, that's why we don't drink coffee. Right. Is that torch being placed? No, no, it has not. That is not good. Hmm. Can we get that done? Let me just uh, cancel that job and try again. Oh, did I take away the floor? No, the floor's still there. Hmm. Okay. Let's uh, see if we can get this going. Oh, we have no more wall torches. That is not good. Okay, let's uh, speed up time and just see... Because there was one. I wonder what happened. Uh, well, for the time being, then, I'll deconstruct this one. We'll free that one up. And then we can uh, build that back later on. Let me just double check that I've got them on all of the walls. Uh, yes, yes we do. Okay, well that's fine then. We'll deconstruct this one, we'll use it to build this, we'll rebuild the, the fence, and then we'll be good to go. It is the fifth day of winter, it's taken me quite a while to get all of this set up, as you can see. Oh, we're actually starting to run out of dirt, my lord. Or we've run out of other things of a higher priority to haul, because this is priority 20. So we have literally hauled everything else, except for the main overflow stockpile, which is priority 30. Actually, it might even be priority 99. No, it's priority 100, yes. That literally, there's nothing that will be done um, later than that one. That is the, the latest priority we've got. Right, rail fence. I want orange wood planks again, please. Right, let's get all of this sorted. And then it is time and I'll also set a new torch to be uh, placed just as soon as a new torch is made I'm also waiting on a little bit of pine to create that chair that might uh, be something we're waiting on for a while unless wait a second did we have a merchant from the rainy gear I believe we did aha yes perfect right, we will take all of that thank you very much in fact we'll take all of the clippings too um, right, what are we going to trade? Oh, 6,000. Okay, you can have all the clippings back. I don't need them. I was just going to take them off your hands because I, you know, wanted you to feel like you've achieved something by coming here. But I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. In fact, I've got so many clippings myself. Right, let's go find some bones, though I've probably used quite a lot of them. Bone statuette is what we're looking for. Though I will sell my skulls too. You. Oh, we've definitely got some bones still, so we're probably okay for the bone statuette. Where are we? There we go. Okay. 
You know what? I will let you have that eight. I, yeah, I'll let you have the eight. I actually, I, I like you guys. You can have a bit of profit. There we go. Right, we will be able to finish off the other stockpiles. Actually, I think we may have sorted out the butcher's stockpile area. Yes, we did. It's already sorted. And, yep, that looks all okay. Right then, let's set this one up the same way as the others. There we go. And we need those types of knives. So let me refresh my memory once again on the order that the knives are, the, the uh, hilts are in. So we want melee parts and we want hilts. It will be the third one down. Okay. There we are. Still a little tiny bit laggy, but not too bad. Right, we want basalt knife blades. And we want the hilt to be the third one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we are. Applewood hilt this time. Fair enough. There we go. And I haven't set up these stockpiles yet, and I'll show you why I haven't done that. There's a little bit of a trick to it. What I'm trying to do is, now that I'm setting up the stockpiles to kind of feed into one another... Uh, having lots of different stockpiles, like Slaughterhouse Stockpile 1, Slaughterhouse Stockpile 2, that would actually make it pretty inconvenient, because I'd end up with a bunch of uh, stockpiles that I don't really need. Uh, or rather, that, that are just making things a little bit more complex for me. For example, these were three individual stockpiles. They are now a single stockpile. If you look closely, you can see the floor changing on each one. And the trick to that is just to put something that, that the stockpile can't be placed on top of. So, for example, I think if we just place a guard area here, like so, and then try to make a stockpile over the top, it won't place it there, but it will all still be a single large stockpile. So this would be... Uh, oh, I Get. Is that how you spell abattoir, or is the I in the wrong place? I shall quickly check by the power of Google. It's a, an oddly spelt word. Yes, that is right. Ah, oh, wow. I got a word that, that I don't use very often correct with first try. That's very uncommon for me. I feel remarkably accomplished. Right, we'll leave that as a priority four, though. And for this, we want body parts. Corpses, don't, not bones, not skulls. I guess I could store them. No, 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 we, we don't want to store them. And we want to pull from the sacrificial pit. Which, in turn, is pulling from the overflow. So there we go. Perfect. And it's all one nice big stockpile, so I only need to set up the priorities once for all of it. Which is always nice, especially because, well, as you've seen, the list of our stockpiles is absolutely huge. I'm going to be going through, uh, over the next couple of episodes, I'm not going to do it all in one, but I'm going to be making a point of trying to uh, bring all of this together and, and condense the amount of stockpiles we've got, in, and using tricks like that to... Uh, make one large stockpile even if it's uh, across a few distinct locations but i'm pretty happy with the way this has turned out honestly that has still got to be built so is that now i would like for the last things to do i want some uh, blood red doors so we want brick doors here here and there as well fantastic now ultimately I'm not. Re I don't really need this area. It goes nowhere. But what I want the goblins to see is that they they're patrolling all the way around. I mean, I, I the 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 more things they don't know or can't um, glean from just observing the way people interact with stuff. Like if the the patrols always stopped here, they could reasonably assume that there was there was a wall there. Uh, I mean, that is still an assumption. It could still be incorrect. But you know, they they could they could draw certain conclusions. I don't want them to be able to draw any. I want this whole place to just be one big terrifying question mark for them. Not that we're evil, you understand. But you know, we've got to we've got to play the part when we're, when we're uh, killing prisoners. I mean, uh, wait, wait, killing prisoners? That sounded horrible. Even if it is what we're doing. And there we go. 
and we'll bring that back around. I mean, they, they shouldn't have come here. I'll think of a name for this place later on, but uh, this is a pretty horrible area. <laughs> I do find kind of at least that's a sign that I that I have not completely exhausted my my dapper reserves. Even if I haven't had a drink from my cup of tea in like 30 minutes and it's gone cold, there's still a little bit of dapperness left, enough to carry me through this this uh, dry spell until I go and make myself a new cup of tea and recharge it completely. But uh, ooh, hello, man. Uh, no, I'm not going to send you down there. Oh, actually, you might be good to test. Make sure there are no breaches yes okay I'm fairly certain there aren't any but you know may as well test on uh, on something that isn't a threat to us go ahead pull the lever and we'll see how that goes down there there we are right I shall let the uh, mants get pitted and uh, we'll watch them for a little bit also I need to set up the doors so we want stone doors brick where are you yeah. Oops. Laggy. Very laggy. There we go. It is really laggy at the moment. Those traps, they really, really do lag the system. It's quite unfortunate. If they weren't lagging as bad, then I'd really enjoy this trap system. But as it stands, sometimes I do actually feel a little bit bleh about it. Uh, really? Oh well. I'll just have to break that door down as well. Uh, all right. Oh, there we are. Perfect. All right. Are you okay? They haven't repathed. Now that could be because they haven't seen anyone. So. I'm going to send, it is coming up to night, so let me just check which group is on duty. Twilight Watch is coming up and Day Watch is currently up, so I'll send Night Watch down there. Uh, we'll put it on both of these, just so that we can test. Okay, go forth, Night Watch. I want to see if these guys, when they spot you, decide... Ooh, Zimoth, well done on the legendary wheat beer there. Let's go and check that out. Oh, really? It's, it's no longer there. Damn it, someone's already grabbed the legendary wheat beer. It didn't even give us a second to check that out. But uh, oh, that actually looks really good. They, they're getting in there. They're attacking them properly. More a lizard outside, which we're not going to go for. You get to live another day, Monitor Lizard. But yes, these guys would have seen them already and engaged them. So we don't have to worry about it. Let's just go ahead and pull that lever and uh, reset the trap system. Well, I am completely... Where are you going? You better not be going down there. I think you may be. Aha! You're not allowed! Denied! That's right. Get back to somewhere else. Oh, they were trying to go out there and get the doors, I see. Ah, yeah, of course. That could have gone badly, but... Uh, oh, well, thankfully we had already uh, set up that system to prevent our gnomes getting caught in the trap. So, it was all okay in the end. But that is going to be it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed and will, of course, be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, with a, a shot of our new rather horrific death pit, I shall leave you. So until next we meet, do take care.